I'm Rusty Lowe, and I'm part of the Globe Observer Mosquito Habitat Mapper Science Team. So if you're not familiar, here is the Globe Observer app, and on this app you can find the Mosquito Habitat Mapper. All you need to do is download this free app to your mobile device, and the Globe Observer app connects you with more than 60,000 citizen scientists around the world who are collecting observations that support NASA science. Those of us who've been spending time outside have been informally and, and probably also unconsciously tracking our personal experience with mosquitoes. In some parts of the world, people are noticing that the mosquito season is coming earlier and it's staying longer than in recent memory. In other parts of the world and in parts of the U.S., especially right now in the South and on the Eastern co East Coast, People are complaining that the mosquitoes seem to be a lot more aggressive than they remember, and the bites are a lot more painful. Well, in fact, this is exactly what is happening. The science is validating these personal experiences that people have, that people have and they've been noticing with respect to mosquitoes. So in some, I would say, okay, in about 94%, of the of major US cities, to take an example, the number of days where residents have risk of a mosquito-borne disease um, and having it transmitted by mosquitoes has increased. Some places like Reno, Nevada, the mosquito season now is a full month and a half longer than when I was a kid in the 1970s. Where I live here in Colorado, you know, um, it's about two weeks longer and about those bites. We're seeing the northward migration of two invasive mosquito species, Aedes albopictus and Aedes aegypti. Both of these mosquitoes are very aggressive daytime biters, which means people are gonna encounter them more frequently. They are also vectors of several viruses that cause disease and diseases that were formerly only found in the subtropics and tropics. These include uh, Zika, Dengue, Chikungunya, and Yellow Fever. And these two species now are also implicated in the transmission of West Nile virus, which has been a problem in, in the States for uh, some 30 years. So what I wanna do now is show you a map where you can see the projected range expansion of Aedes aegypti in blue, you'll see where we find the species today. This range began to establish itself in the 1970s after we stopped using DDT. So the, the blue shows expansion until 1970, the 1970s. Now the red is where we expect to see these species expanding in 50 years. And the yellow is where we will project this mosquito's range will be in 2080. So, as you can see, mosquitoes are already posing a big global health problem, and that problem is projected to become more serious, more expanded in range, and more serious in a warming climate. So, here's your chance to make a difference. Record your observations about mosquitoes using the app, the Mosquito Habitat Mapper tool on the Globe Observer app. What you will do is you will report where you find mosquito larvae and breeding sites where you dump out containers and make and basically mitigate that site so those juveniles can't grow up to budding adults. And if you want, you can also use the mosquito habitat mapper key to describe the kind of mosquito that you've encountered. As a postscript, as a postscript, if you're staying inside right now, you can look back around at standing water, even in your house. Last summer, a friend of mine found a very productive breeding site in a bucket in her basement that she'd forgotten when she was painting. And um, last spring, um, my daughter gave me Mother's Day flowers. And um, about a week and a half later, that water where the flowers were was teeming with mosquito larvae. They were all swimming around in that vase. So you never know when you, where you can find them. And by dumping those out, we got rid of the potential of a lot of adults flying around my house and biting me. So that's important work. So there are all kinds of 
places where you can look for mosquito larvae in and around your home. Um, some favorite habitats that I know about are wet areas under sinks. If you have a little bit of a leak down there and it puddles sometimes, that's a favorite place. Uh, sinks, so besides sinks, there's uh, under flower pots, people sometimes have dishes. That's also a really preferred habitat. Trash piles is one place where I found mosquitoes um, over the course of the last couple summers. And of course, used tires that are laying around, you know, old used tires are laying around both in urban and in rural settings. And that is a preferred habitat for a lot of mosquitoes for breeding sites for their babies. Uh, nurseries, I guess, for their babies. So anyway, I hope you'll join the more than 60,000 citizens using the Globe Observer app. I hope you will be able to report mosquito at your mosquito observations. And in doing so, you'll make the world a better place. So stay healthy and stay safe. Thanks, Rusty. That was a great introduction to mosquitoes and the Mosquito Habitat Mapper tool and why it's so important to make these observations. Hi, my name is Kristen Weaver and I'm an outreach specialist at NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center working on the Globe Observer team. I'd like to show you a game that you can play that, to help you learn about some of the places that you might find mosquito larvae. We call it Mosquito Habitats and Hideouts and it has a few different options. One way to play is bingo. We have 30 different game boards with pictures of different possible mosquito habitats, places you might find larvae, as well as pictures of the different stages of the mosquito life cycle so that you can start to learn what does a larva look like, what does a pupa look like, what does an adult mosquito look like. We also have a call sheet so you can cut these out and you know, draw the different pictures so you can randomize which order you're, you're uh, calling these out in. And then we have a template to print out some bingo markers, some nice, nice adult mosquito picture bingo markers there for you. You can also um, put your bingo cards in sheet protectors or laminate them, make them last a little bit longer, and then you could use a dry erase marker or something to play. Anyway, I actually printed out some smaller ones to, uh, to play with my friends Porg and Yoda and BB-8 here. Just uh, fits their size a little bit better. And I have pennies because the other markers are a little bit too big for these small boards. So um, I have printed out some of those, um, some of those uh, collar sheets. So let's see what we get. Oh, looks like I've got a tire here. So let's see, I have a tire and Porg has a tire and Yoda has a tire. Looks like no tire for BB-8. So anyway, you get the idea. You keep drawing out, um, drawing out pictures of habitats until you get um, five across or five up or diagonal. That's kind of the standard. We also have some examples of some different uh, patterns you might try for in, uh, in, our, in our instructions on the website. Although I don't think we have a lightsaber pattern, so maybe that's something you could try too. Anyway, another way to play is uh, with cards it's called Name That Habitat. So we have cards that have pictures of the different mosquito habitats on them. And so in this, uh, in this version, you describe the thing that you're, the habitat you're seeing and the other players have to guess what it is. So if I say, oh, the actual purpose of this item is to cook your dinner outside, but if it fills up with water, it can be a great place for mosquitoes to live. You might correctly guess I was talking about a grill. Uh, similarly, you can do sketch that habitat where you uh, just have a list of the habitats in the cycle stages and then you have to, one player draws the, the, a picture of the habitat and the rest of the players have to guess, kind of Pictionary style. Uh, but anyway, you can find all of the instructions for how to play these different versions of the Mosquito Habitats and Hideouts game on our, our website, observer.globe.gov. And we we'll hope you take some time to learn about these habitats and places you might find larvae and really prepare yourself for being able to go outside and make observations with the Mosquito Habitat Mapper tool. Uh, thanks for joining us today and uh, happy observing.